Hey knights and nobles, it's Jess, and welcome back to Speed Build Sunday, and holy cow does it feel so good to say that again. I am so, so sorry I was gone for so long. Um, I basically fell off the face of the earth, but I am back after my semester-long hiatus. Uh, I will get into where I've been and what I've been up to in my very, very long absence, but that is for later on in the video. Right now, I kind of want to give you all a preface for what you are about to see, because you might be wondering, like, like, you know, most people are uploading like, oh, Christmas cottage, <laughs> or family Christmas home, or holiday whatever, but um, I didn't feel like doing that because I don't know if you know this about me, but I live in Wisconsin and winter is the actual <laughs> worst, so um, I wanted to build something that reminded me of like the fun and warm times and the and like knowing that we have January coming up is just kind of like making my heart sad and you know like seasonal affective disorder got me like <laughs> so I decided to build this campground called Endless Summer Campground and it is loosely inspired by my recently discovered favorite place on the entire earth which is Universal Studios Orlando I'll also get into that a little bit later on uh, but I wanted to let you guys know what I am building today because it seems a little wacky. Um, so basically, this is for my custom save file in Newcrest. And I decided that I wanted to build something kind of quirky, a little um, place for my Sims to go to hang out because there's not a whole lot to do uh, other than like go to restaurants or the gym or whatever. So like I wanted to build something different that uh, my Sims could bring their family to and just like hang out and spend some time. Um, and also we don't get to experience campgrounds a whole lot other than when you go to Granite Falls. And I, truth be told, try to do that as little as possible. <laughs> No shade, I guess, but also some shade because Granite Falls is kind of the worst. Uh, if you're watching my Family Farm History Challenge, you you understand why I feel the way that I do. Cough, spontaneous fires, cough, rain, cough, freezing to death. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm not bitter. It's fine. But I decided to build this campground called Endless Summer Campground, and it's part campground, part water park. So you'll see here this little, like, splash pad, um shark water slide thingamajig. Um, I basically we just wanted to use a bunch of build items that I never get to use at all. I never use that little slip and slide even though it's really fun and I should use it more because who doesn't need a shark slip and slide? <laughs> but, um, and the other item I don't want to spoil because you'll see it coming up and I'll talk about it when we see it in the video but um, basically since this is in Newcrest, we do have seasons to deal with. So we have, you know, snow and rain and thunderstorms and, you know, just not ideal water park weather. So the I my premise behind this was that the owner was trying to find a way to work around that and they decided to build this like part campground part water park and what I'm building right now is like the rec center basically or like the uh, Rangers Tower. It ends up being really tall and very awkward and it makes my thumbnail really ugly, which I'm sad about, but <laughs> that's a story for a different day, I suppose. Um, but it's really tall and kind of ugly because I'm going to spoil a surprise. <laughs> There's a weather machine at the top of this tower. So the lo the owner is like low key manipulating the weather so that it is always summer all the time on this lot. I, it's kind of wild, but like, I don't know, that was my whole concept for building this, was I wanted to stick a weather machine and build an all-seasons um, water park in Newcrest. <laughs> I don't know, winter winter has not done my brain a favor, but like, if we're not even like, we haven't even started winter yet, it's just getting warmed up. Actually, today was like 50 degrees, so I don't know why I'm complaining so much, it's not even that bad yet. We still have January and Arctic blasts or whatever polar vortexes and all those scary words to look forward to but anyway um i've rambled enough about this i generally like to not talk too much about my builds themselves because you can see it going on on the screen i like to talk to all of you and kind of update you on my life and like hear what you guys have going on and stuff like that so i wanted to kind of give you guys an update as to where i have been because it has been several months since i've made an upload and i am deeply deeply sorry about that um, basically, real talk, I am in my second year of grad school, and it's a lot. 
like I vastly underestimated how busy I would be per semester like I have so so much going on I'm doing a dual program so I'm getting technically two master's degrees um, one in music history and one in library and information sciences so I have that going on. I am also a TA for my program, which means that I'm grading term papers and labs and quizzes, etc., multiple times a week. Um, on top of my regular workload, I am also working at uh, the music library we have on campus. Uh, so I've got that going on. I did end up quitting my other part-time job, so I was at one point working three part-time jobs because I'm a crazy person. <laughs> but I, I was working at a public library too, and I sadly did have to leave that just because I did not have time to do anything. I was just constantly reading articles and constantly grading papers and just like I didn't have time for myself, I didn't have time for doing things I enjoyed, and adding recording in on top of that was just really not going to fit into my schedule because like I tried to keep it up and I tried to do it. It and it just it was taking the enjoyment out of it because I just felt so pressured to do uploads and truth be told I'm very picky I really like to make sure that what I'm putting out is like to a certain quality and the videos that I was creating just weren't meeting that in my opinion like I have very I have very high standards for my uploads and I just wasn't seeing the type of quality that I wanted to see in my videos which generally usually means that you guys aren't seeing it either and that's not fair to anybody so I figured I should just take a break and then come back when I feel like I can devote myself to making the kind of content that I want to make because I'm selfish <laughs> no but like this is this is for me you know like I do YouTube because I really enjoy it it's fun it's a great creative outlet for me I love talking to all of you and just geeking out about the sims and whatever else I decide to record so it's just it, it's it's kind of selfish but like I do this for my own enjoyment like I'm not monetized I don't really ever think I'm going to be monetized that's not the point for me like I just I like doing it and I like being here and I like talking to all of you so thank you <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah I just like um, I don't know I missed it and like it made me sad that I didn't have time to do uploads but I think it was truthfully for the better um, I'm in a much better place now mentally that I have time for doing more uploads again and all of that sort of stuff and you're gonna get more quality content out of me than if I was like a half focused really tired coffee fueled mess um, so my plan going forward I am on winter break now and I have a very long winter break which is super nice but my plan going forward is to um, kind of pre-record I'm gonna do like I'm gonna bulk up on recordings uh, probably do three or four per series each week um, but I'll only be releasing them once a week but I'm, my plan is to pre-record so if you make comments on videos they might you might not see my reactions to those comments until like three or four weeks down the line which isn't ideal but my plan is to stock up essentially um, it's like making freezer meals before you have a baby <laughs> I guess I'm not having a baby don't worry but like it's you know when like couples like cook ahead of time and they put everything in the freezer and then they just take it out as they need it so that's my plan going forward from my recordings as I'm going to record a whole bunch and then edit them and post them and like I'll schedule them for uploads as I like weekly so that way when I hit the semester I won't have to go crazy about trying to maintain weekly uploads and all of that sort of stuff and I can just like pull it out of the bag and like chuck it up on YouTube and call it a day and then go about grading and losing my mind and reading a hundred articles a week it's gonna be great um, that is my plan going forward it's not the most ideal obviously the most ideal would be I record a video and I edit it and the next day it goes up and then you guys respond to it but that is realistically not a format that I can fit into my life right now that said <laughs> I wanted to say that, um, so I said earlier that this was in loosely inspired by my newly discovered favorite place on earth, which is Universal Orlando. Um, I went there with my boyfriend and he goes all the time. He is an annual pass holder, like it's his thing, like he loves that place. I had never been before he and I started dating and we went on our first trip in July and I completely fell in love with it. I like obviously I knew I was going to like deep down I knew I was going to it's it's where Harry Potter world is like wizarding world of Harry Potter lives there and I am a complete Harry Potter fanatic 
I'm a Hufflepuff. Shout out in the in the chat what Hogwarts house you are. I just like to know. But <laughs> um, yeah, so I like they have a um, a hotel that they just opened called Endless Summer, and that kind of sparked this idea for me. And it's like Orlando, it is kind of just endless summer all year round, and it's like it's this beachy theme, like fun tropical place. But like you don't have that in new Christ, so i had to kind of like create it you know like and it's it's endless summer campground i don't know i stole the name like 100 percent stole the name i have no idea i have no problem admitting that but but like i kind of that's what inspired me to do this build and it was really fun for me to do and i like the name i think it's quirky it's kind of fun and the weather machine just kind of like tops it all off in my opinion um, so yeah, speaking of though, in terms of life updates and stuff, I, um, let's see, let's see. Since I last talked to you guys, I have moved twice. So I moved out of my apartment, um, that I was living in. There's a speed build of that apartment up. I don't live there anymore. Um, I moved back to my parents' house and then, uh, in October, I moved to my current apartment. I might do a speed build of this place. It's a lot smaller than my last one, but it's um, much better in every sense, in my opinion. So I might give that, like, I might do a speed build and a life update for that as well um, in the future. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if it fits in. But yeah, so I moved twice. I started uh, another year of grad school and all of that jazz, uh, just overall in a much better spot in my whole life. <laughs> like, I feel like I have a much better command of my school work and um, just like my social life and my like personal life. It, just every aspect of my life feels like it is where it's supposed to be. And that's kind of strange for me as someone with chronic anxiety. It's weird to feel like perpetually content, but here I am, and I think that's good. So I think that should be celebrated. So yay, I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm thankful especially for all of you who have remained active on my channel, even though I have been a literal ghost. So um, I know I say it every time because I've gone through this like three times already where I leave and then come back and then I'm like, I'm back. And then I leave again and I'm like, I'm back. <laughs> and then I leave again. But that said, um, my intention is to do uh, the same amount of uploads I'm going to be doing Speed Build Sundays, I'm going to be doing um, Family Farm Fridays, I am going to be doing Black Widow Wednesdays, and uh, recently I posted on Twitter about a poll um, for what you guys might want to see for my new series, like a, a new content, and we're going to be doing something non-Sims related, and I'm kind of stoked about it, so that, that'll be on Saturdays. Um, so I have it marked in my calendar as like TBD because I didn't know what I was going to be recording yet, but it fits really nicely with the alliteration. I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> However, we are coming up on the screenshots, so I think I am going to go and let you guys enjoy those. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know by giving me a thumbs up or giving me a shout in the comments. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to join this loyal troop of troubadours, please do click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Stay awesome. Bye.